If you haven't heard of Gohai Level, it means you live under a rock, and it's time to open up your eyes. If you're looking to have a customer service chatbot or an AI appointment setter, you have to watch this video. I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and how to program and train it to have it do whatever it is that you need it to do within your business. I'm going to be using a software called Gohai Level that I just mentioned, which is $97 a month. Ignore this price down here. That's for a higher tier, which you don't need to get. It has all this stuff, including, you know, marketing, email marketing, SMS marketing, making phone calls, voicemail drops, building websites, building forms, a whole bunch of other stuff. And if you end up liking what you see here and you want to build your own bot which literally takes about 10 minutes or less and is so easy to do you can use my link down in the description to get it and i'm going to give you all of these bonuses which you can see right here all these scripts all these sops hiring virtual assistants for only five dollars an hour access to all nine of my courses access to my school group which is 37 dollars a month you'll get it for free and in that community you get access to my weekly calls that i do on a weekly basis where i can help you set up your chat bot look at your sales calls look at your websites look at your automations and help you build stuff out. If you use my link, I'm even willing to get on a call with you privately and set up these chat bots with you. You'll get my ebook and audiobook, all my automations and stuff that'll help you overall advance your business with the use of automations, advertising, delegating your tasks and a bunch of other stuff. Some quick credibility, I've helped a lot of people make a lot of money as you can see right here. I've been featured on Yahoo Finance, Investors Observer, Market Watch, and Morningstar. This video is actually gonna be a clip from one of my coaching calls that I do on a weekly basis. And by the way, if you don't use my Go High Level link, if you already have Go High Level, you can upgrade using my link. Or if you wanna to stick to what you have, you could still join my school group by going to school.com slash GHR and just join for $37 a month while it's still that price before it goes up to $197 a month. Also towards the end of the coaching call, I talk about how to generate AI images, whether for thumbnails, like this thumbnail that you saw here on YouTube, or if you wanna use them for advertising, you're definitely gonna love that part of the video. So stick around until the end to see that. So like I said, this is from one of my coaching calls. And unfortunately, the audio is a little bit weird for about three or four minutes. So I was considering not uploading this, but I said some really, really good stuff and showed some things that I feel like I'm gonna forget if I make another YouTube video about this. So please bear with me, watch through it. You're gonna get so much value. Comment down below asking any questions that you have and comment thank you for making this video. And if you want more content about Go High Level, about building websites, automations, hiring virtual assistants, make sure you subscribe. And if you end up liking this video, definitely like it. Let's jump into the video now. Cool. So we're gonna be talking about the conversational AI bot. This is actually just recently launched about three weeks ago. Brand new, I've been playing around with it. Um, I'm fairly new to it myself, but I've been playing it and I think it's pretty cool. So there's two different types of AI bots with Go High Level. Hey, Danilo. There's two different bots, okay? You got your conversational bots, which could basi basically just be like customer service, okay? And then you also have the booking bots, which can actually book people on to your calendar. Okay, so let me just drop a quick link into the school chat too so everybody has the link it is gonna be fun this is one of my favorite features so far i think this is gonna take off this is probably gonna put a lot of appointment setters uh, out of jobs once it starts to get really really advanced so this is where you go if you're, if you're in your go high level settings go to conversation ai okay and then go to bot settings you can do trial which is pretty cool where you can actually practice and spend time with your bots and see how they handle conversations and then you also have bot training where you could take FAQs from your website. You could take somebody else's website. Let's say you have clients that you're actually building this bot for. Take those websites and upload it. If let's say, you know, Bree, you guys are offering virtual assistants. You could take a whole bunch of um, articles that talk about what virtual assistants can do. Filipino VAs and stuff like that. Take a bunch of links, upload it here, and then click get data. Okay. And then it's actually going to start to grab all that data from these websites to train the bot so that it could start doing customer service. Okay, and then you can also configure the intent and say, you know, whether or not you want it to actually do appointment booking, okay? And as far as the bot setting goes, you can either do suggestive or autopilot, right? We got Joshua joining. What's up, Joshua? Hey, Joshua, sorry. Doing good, we got the conversation AI. So if you want to set this up in your go high level, this is how you do it. You go to your settings, you go to you go to conversation AI, uh, and you'll be able to set this up right here. So I was actually just mentioning that you can actually do a trial and actually chat with your chat bot and test out how it would handle conversations. This could do both customer service and do bookings. You could do training where you actually upload FAQs and upload various websites that you have, maybe even articles about some of the services that you provide to train up the bot. And then you can also configure the intents. Right, and have it do appointment book, appointment booking from here as well, and you can actually have it book 
you could choose whether or not you wanted to actually send a booking link, right? If you wanted to send a booking link rather than just booking directly into your calendar, you could just send a booking link and let the customer or prospect book themselves. You can also pause the bot after booking. Some people like to do this because they have automations after somebody books, right? Most people have automations after they book. So you might want to use this feature here. And then you can also, yeah, you could pause it for a certain amount of days. And then after those certain amount of days, it could reactivate. And then you could trigger, trigger another workflow after booking and select the, the workflow that you want to trigger after booking, which is pretty cool. Now, as far as editing the prompt, right, support and general uh, question and answer, this would be basically be like a customer service bot. So I can edit the prompt and enter in everything that I want them to do, right? So I could say, you know, answer questions about virtual assistants. Typically, we offer four to $5 an hour virtual assistants, and we go and we typically find them in the Philippines and da 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 Your goal is to just chat with them, see if they have any further questions, and ask if they're looking to book a call. You know, point them in the direction of Joseph. They're going to be chatting with Joseph and da 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 right? So this is one way to do it, and it's very, very simple. You turn it off, and it starts messaging just like you saw joshua you were texting me and for like an entire day i had no clue that my bot was just texting you and you're like oh this is confusing what are you talking about and that was just my bot just taking over i didn't realize i activated it and it was just having a full-on conversation with you which is hilarious um so you also have advanced settings right so you can actually put your business name here as far as autopilot mode goes you can choose how quickly you want it to respond so you can make it to where it's instant which i wouldn't recommend i typically recommend about about two minutes to make it as natural as possible okay so two minutes i'd say you could do three or four if you want maximum messages a bot could send to a contact the absolute max that you could do is 25 okay so i recommend just doing 25 it shouldn't time you shouldn't prefer that it times out sooner because sometimes people have a whole lot of questions before they book with you so you don't want it to time out too early so 25 is the max so i choose 25 you'll notice here that you can't do any more than 25. you could send bot to sleep when I send a message. So basically, whenever I send a message, the bot will be put to sleep and let me continue the conversation. So I could set this to be four hours. I can make it wait one day or a couple minutes. So I could do 24 hours if I want. So that's what I would turn on. Because last thing that I want, like Joshua, when you and I were having a conversation, I think the AI bot still chimed in. Um, actually, I think it didn't because it turned off when I sent this message. I had this two hours on. So you don't want it to start chiming in and saying, you know, a bunch of different things while we're still having our conversation. That would be stupid. Now, typically it's about two cents per response, which is really cool. Okay. Very, very affordable. Um, it's basically like an AI assistant. I mean, if we do the math on this, even if we're sending, let's say, you know, 2000 messages per month, that's going to come out to 40 bucks. Okay. You're guaranteed going to be paying an assistant significantly more than that. Even if it's sending 10,000 messages, that's going to end up being, I mean, this is easy math, but yeah, 200 bucks. Got to make sure 200 bucks. So 50 bucks a week. Okay. So you can either have a real person. The, the great thing is you can also set this to turn off at certain times. So I could say during business hours, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute here. You're not, you're not able to do it from these settings. It looks like, but I'll show you how to actually set specific times that it could work. So and we got Chargeal. What's up, Chargeal? We're, we're talking about conversational uh, AI here. You came a little bit late, so I'll send you the, re the recording afterwards. By the way, whenever we have these calls, all the recordings are always placed in the coaching call recordings within the courses, okay? So the next way that you could do this, you go to your automations. Okay, so let's go to automations. Let's go to create workflow, start from scratch. And let's say the trigger is going to be when a customer replies. Okay. So we'll do customer reply. And you can also add filters. And it could be like people that only have like a specific tag or something, if that's what you want. So I could say has tag, you know, let's say they come from Facebook, right? So it'll be Facebook lead. This is just an example. And then you would come here and you would look up booking. Right, the appointment booking conversation AI bot. Eliza AI appointment bot. This one's kind of outdated. Don't use this one. This one doesn't really perform, perform well and is also more expensive. I think it's like six cents per message. The appointment booking conversation bot, this is the one that you're going to be using. So you'll actually choose the calendar that you want them to book onto. 
So in my case, it would be this. You're going to create the personality. So you could say like, you're really funny. You make jokes every other message or like you like to crack jokes a lot and keep the conversation going. Um, if they end up not messaging you, you, you crack jokes in terms of like, hey, where'd you go? Is everything all right? You want me to order an ambulance or something? Call an ambulance for you. You know, you can give all different types of personality traits and things that they could say. And maybe some of the additional stuff that I was mentioning, you can also add into the additional instructions. So personality, I mean, you could literally use ChatGPT to create like a really good customer service personality to say, hey, I'm, I'm creating an appointment setter bot. Can you lay out some sort of uh, standard personality type of someone would, who would be really humorous, but would book me a whole bunch of appointments and is really eager to get an appointment, okay? And then for additional instructions, I could literally just brain dump into my additional instructions. So I'm gonna start just like literally typing everything about my services, what we do, what the goal is, who they're gonna be talking to. You know, don't, don't say the price via text, let them know that they're gonna to have to get on a call if they wanna figure out the price because we have different packages. It's not one size fits all, okay? Literally everything you could possibly think about your service, maybe even services that you won't be selling on the call. Like if they have questions about maybe mini courses that you have or other products that, hey, if you don't wanna book an appointment, why don't you just take a look at our, our course that we have here? We have a course for five bucks. I can give instructions like that as well. Okay, I can even put the link in here. I could put the link in here for them to be able to uh, go and buy that course. I think that option is a little bit buggy, but it's something that you could play around with, okay? And test out. So same thing is here, right? Maximum limit, 25, okay? Limit is five to 25, as you can see here. As far as timeout value, if so this is the time for which the bot waits for a reply okay so it's going to wait and if if i understand correctly and from what i've seen so far this means that it's going it's going to send another message if they don't answer okay so you could set this to 24 hours you could set it to three hours two hours six hours i would recommend probably three to four all right if they don't message back in three to four hours i want them to uh to, to message again now i haven't tested this one too much I'm gonna come back to this on our next call and we'll chat about this. I, I need to make sure that timeout means that it's gonna send another message versus it just times out and stops talking because I don't want that to happen. But I'm pretty sure this is the case. And I'm, I'm not sure whether I don't have more information here, okay? So same thing, units, uh, minutes, days. So just based on the fact that they allow you to do minutes, I'm assuming that it's gonna send another message. Now, as far as channel, the coolest thing about this is that you can connect your Facebook Messenger you can connect your Instagram DMs, and you can also have it do it for SMS. So if you wanted to connect your, your Instagram DMs and start running Instagram DM ads and have an appointment setter talking to everybody that comes through immediately when they come through through Instagram, you can have an appointment setter booking appointments for you through your Instagram DMs with this AI, okay? So you can create three separate automation workflows, one for SMS, one for Facebook, one for Instagram, all with different settings, okay? Maybe you want the, the timeout to be a little bit less for Instagram because people are quick to just jump to the next thing when it comes to Instagram versus being able to text them, okay? Maybe uh, if we go up here, maybe you want it to time out after uh, you know, 20 messages, 15 messages, if it's Facebook, who knows, right? So I recommend doing different workflows for each uh, platform, okay? So let's say in this case, it's just SMS. Now, if you if you want, the automations that you have set in place for if someone books an appointment with you to kick in and that the AI doesn't continue to have a conversation after they book, then you'll click this checkbox here. Cause you don't want it to say, hey, we just booked your appointment because you have an automation that does that. And then also the AI bot's also saying, okay, cool, your appointment's confirmed. And then they get two com confirmation uh, things. So this wouldn't replace the old IGDM strategy cause that's cold DM. This is not cold DM, this is, uh, this is for if someone messages you first. Yeah. So as far as timeout goes, uh, this is still more stuff that I have to play around with. Okay. So I haven't really touched this too much. Looks like it's actually uh, grayed out, but this is more stuff that I'll touch on and continue to create more videos. I'm also making videos that I post on YouTube as well. So you can go there. I'll also be posting a whole bunch of course content within the community. So now at this point, I'd just like to open up the floor for any questions. Awesome, Bree. 
Uh, yeah. So um, right now I've got uh, Christine calling people um, mm -hmm. and sometimes they'll like send a message back something like, Hey, can you just text me? Mm. And can I have like a bot take over at that point so she can just keep yeah. calling? Okay. Yep. So mm -hmm. yeah, if, if, if customer replies and it meets the criteria that you have set in the workflow, so if they have a specific tag or something, or you have a complete, you can have it completely open. I don't recommend that because sometimes you'll get random like spam bots calling you and texting you. You don't want everybody, you know, getting the bot because then you're just wasting money. So make sure that whoever's you know, going to be texting you that you want the AI bot to kick in for matches with that tag. So use only tags that you actually use within the workflow. So you could definitely do that. That'd be a great option. And then she can continue to call and then AI will take over. That's a really great way to pair your appointment setter along with this AI bot. That'd be really awesome. Okay. You can also add more workflows here. So I could say, you know, if they time out, I can have it add a timeout tag and I can make it do something else. I can, if they time out, so, okay, here we go. Okay, th this kind of answers my question. Remember we were talking about the timeout value here? So this is what you can, you can make something happen here if they time out. So for instance, I can add a tag that says timeout, and then I can create another workflow where if they get hit with the tag timeout, it starts the bot all over again and does another follow-up, right? So I, I can create a whole entire other workflow where if they get hit with the timeout tag, the AI bot starts again and sends them another message, which would be pretty cool. Joshua, you had a question? Yes, does this, um, to get this, is it only in your version of Go High Level? No, any, any Go High Level could do this. So I've been using ChatGPT aggressively for my YouTube thumbnails, okay? For my YouTube thumbnails. And you'll notice here, we can create some really, really cool images. All right, so this is a guy staring at a camera. I mean, this would definitely get somebody's attention, right? This would definitely 100% get somebody's attention. Is this the paid version of ChatGPT? Yes, it is. If you don't have the paid version, I think you're able to generate like one photo and then that's it. If you go to meta.ai, and let me actually show you a couple other cool photos I've created because you can also, it's 20 bucks. I think it's 20 bucks. It's like 22 or something like that. You can also create like cartoonish images, claymation. I say I say Pixar themed a lot. And I always like to do like shocked faces. Same thing with advertisements. If you guys are going to start doing advertisements and you want people to actually click on the photos and actually opt in, always tell uh, ChatGPT to either create like really crazy faces or really shocked faces. I like to have cash flying all over the place all the time, lights and clouds and smoke and stuff. Uh, I always like a nice view in the background if we're in a, in a room, right? Let's see some other images I've created. Let's see. This is crazy, right? Tell me this wouldn't be captivating. Only issue here is that I created a baby for some reason. I didn't ask it to create a baby. So sometimes it gets kind of weird uh, with stuff like that. But as long as you keep on tweaking it over and over again, like you'll come up, you'll come up with some really cool images. I mean, I could do this all day long. It's so fun. Let me see what else it came up with. There's one other photo here. Yeah, these are a couple of later ones. So let's look at meta.ai. There's a couple of cool things that we um, came across last time that we looked at this. Let me actually take this prompt and put it in here. All right, so let's see. Whenever you're generating a an AI image, the coolest thing about meta.ai is that you can turn these images into photos, right? So let's look at this. This is a guy. Yeah, this is, this is, this is actually really good. Look at this. Wow, kind of super HD. So now let's, let's click on animate, watch this. And if you take this, yeah, it's gonna be about, that's crazy. If you take this, this is about maybe three or four seconds. If you take this, download it, put it in CapCut, and make it repeat over and over again for 15 seconds instead of you know four seconds because you don't want an ad that's four four seconds long because then it's going to just play for four seconds and it's going to immediately pull a button up. You want it to kind of play out a bit so they could read stuff and see what's going on and then decide if they want to click the button. So I could take an image like this, I could download it, put it on CapCut, make it repeat itself three or four times, 
to create a 15 second to 20 second advertisement and then add some words on it. So I could say, you know, this is how I scaled my business, whatever. It wouldn't actually say that, but come up with something that's better, of course. Let's look at some of the other ones and see what else we can animate. Uh, let's go back here. Let's take a look at this one. Animate this. See just how crazy this gets. It's also interesting to see what meta.ai would do versus Do Dolly on ChatGPT. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. I wouldn't. His eyes look really, really weird. I, pr I probably wouldn't use this one. It's hilarious. But yeah, so far, you guys liking this? Pretty crazy stuff. If you ended up liking that video and you want to get your own AI chatbot, make sure you sign up for Go High Level using my link down below. So you get all those free bonuses that I mentioned right here. Feel free to pause if you want to read through it. And if you already have Go High Level or don't want to sign up for Go High Level, but you still want access to my courses and community, I have nine courses. I do weekly calls. Go to school.com slash GHR to learn a little bit more about what's offered in there. I know for a fact you're going to love it. And it's such a crazy, crazy cheap price because I used to sell these courses for multi-thousands of dollars a pop. So join in now. Definitely get Go High Level. I'll see you on the other side.